Are you looking to build a new gaming PC in 2020? Hold that thought, at least until you watch this. Hey there everyone, I'm Danny with Danny's Tech Channel. If this is your first time here, we usually cover hardware reviews, PC builds, and uh, sometimes perform how-to videos as well. Today's slightly different because I'm gonna be giving you some information about what's going on in the PC space for the rest of this year and what you can expect from some of these big name companies. I did wanna use my Corsair Virtuoso headset for this video. However, setting up screen capture and camera capture at the same time is much harder than I thought it would be. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of the video and audio. If you're thinking about putting together your first PC or even upgrading your current one, listen up. All right, first up, let's talk about AMD, uh, specifically their processor division. Ryzen 4000 or Zen 3, which uh, it's the architecture is named, are slotted to arrive by the end of 2020. Most sources are leaning toward an end of the year release towards when the um, new consoles are slotted to come out. Check out this five second video I found confirming um, the release. Zen 3 is exactly that. Zen 3 is looking great in the labs. We're on track to launch later this year and I can't wait to tell you more about it. So as you can see, I mean, they're saying it's happening. Um, I guess we'll find out, but that's the, the best information about that. Uh, now Ryzen 4000 will work with B450, X470, um, B550, and X570 motherboards. If you wanna know more about that, I'll leave a link down in the description below. I did a video on B450, B550, and what the chipsets offer. Now, there's no performance numbers that I can give you on the Ryzen 4000 or Zen 3 CPUs that are gonna be coming out. There's a lot of like speculation on things, but um, nothing I've seen that's solid enough to really put anything out there yet. My recommendation on AMD, if you're gonna be building a system with that um, style, you're, you'd be fine to get a motherboard. You can even pick up the B450 boards right now um, for pretty good prices. So uh, it depends what you want, but you'd be fine getting any of the AMD boards right now because the new Zen 3 CPUs are gonna be able to sock it into any of the old boards. They're not gonna be, they're most likely not gonna be coming out with any new boards at the end of this year. And if you're wanting to build a high-end computer, I wouldn't really jump on any of the high-end processors that are out right now if you want to wait on the 4000 series you can pick up something like this the ryzen 5 3600 it's at an all-time low at 159.99 on uh, new egg i haven't seen it that price ever so for a six core 12 thread processor that's an incredible deal it's an all-around great choice for light workstation and gaming and then when the ryzen 4000 processors come out you could always sell this processor and get one of the newer ones if you want now another up and coming processor that could be coming out really soon actually is the Renoir 4000 series APUs. Uh, AMD just released information about it um, last week. They're only releasing them for OEM systems right now. They're, these processors are supposed to replace the current 3000 APUs like the Ryzen 5 uh, 3400G and the Ryzen 3 3200G. I actually did a build it with a 3200G in my desk mini and I, I'm waiting for these new processors to come out because I would love to slot one into that if it's compatible. I, I don't even know yet, but I will be picking these up and trying them in a B550 motherboard. Um, so stay tuned for that if you're interested. They should be trickling down to the DIY market fairly soon. Um, I would expect August or September for these. The APUs usually come out before the um, CPU. You can see here some of the specs of the APUs that are currently released by AMD. The 4700G is their flagship on this. Um, they're saying about $300 US. It's 8 core 16 thread. And then when you jump down to the 4600G, you go to 6 core 12 thread, and their uh, entry level for the APUs will be a 4 core 8 thread. I think those are incredible parts. Um, really excited to check them out. Now they're based on the Zen 2 processor technology not Zen 3 that's upcoming. APUs are always a generation behind. Now, if you wanna go for Team Blue on your build um, with Intel, you'd be fine getting anything with the new 10th gen or the new Z490 boards um, because they just came out and it doesn't look like Intel's gonna come out with anything at the end of the year. Even if they do decide to come out with a processor, your board will probably be compatible with a, a BIOS update. 
um, cause they usually go two years between chipsets. So the LGA 1200 that's out right now, you, you'll most likely be able to socket any of the new chips in. But, um, like I said, they just came out. So you'll probably be more than fine to throw that in there. The, uh, i5 10600K is like one of the best gaming processors right now out there. It's six cores, 12 threads. Okay, now let's talk about what I'm sure everybody wants to hear about graphics cards. <laughs> graphics cards, man, they are the the popular thing. They get all the glory. Um, CPUs kind of go to the side because of the graphics cards. First off, this is the worst time to buy a GPU. Like if I can give any advice right now, don't buy a GPU until September timeframe. NVIDIA and AMD are both making graphics cards this year. If you can wait like two months or so, you'll be more than satisfied with what's happening. See if a friend will let you borrow their GPU or hold on to your old GPU if you still have one. It'll be worth the wait. The GPUs that are about to be coming out will be more geared toward 1440p and 4k gaming. Um, which a lot more people are getting into these days because the monitors are becoming more and more available because the, the prices are coming down. Okay, let's talk about AMD's Big Navi first. Um, they're slotted to release the end of this year. Everything I've seen for rumors and ex expectations and stuff is going to be towards November timeframe when their consoles launch. Um, AMD wants to release everything at the same time so they can do like a show of strength per se uh, because... Both new consoles, believe it or not, have AMD hardware in them. AMD makes the processors that are going in the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox, um, and they make the graphics processing unit that's going into them as well. The leaks that I found on this are saying that RDNA 2, which is what's going to be in these newest cards, is going to be 40 to 50% faster than a 2080 Ti. That's incredible. That is a huge jump if this is true. Um... They're saying that AMD's flagship card will have 16 gigs of VRAM. I, like I said, I don't know what rumors are true and which ones are completely off in left field. But if RDNA 2 is anywhere close to 40% faster than a 2080 Ti, uh, we're looking at some major performance bumps on the... They're saying a 7% IPC improvement for AMD. And like I said, Thanksgiving launch, November timeframe. Expect it just because of the consoles launching. It's, it's all got to line up together. NVIDIA has held the crown for high-end graphics cards for years over AMD. AMD, every time they try to come out with something that is supposed to compete with NVIDIA's high-end graphics cards, it ends up not doing as well as expected. That may change with RDNA 2, um, as I just showed you, but uh, NVIDIA is definitely not going to go down without a fight. Rumor has it the 3080, um, or whatever it's going to end up being called, has... 20% increase over the 2080 Ti. That's incredible. Um, that's like a 50% increase over the 2080 currently. So you can see here, uh, we're talking about a 50% faster graphics card than a 2080 in 4K games and 40% faster in 1440p games. That That's a huge difference. Like I said, they're aiming for these higher end monitors now. Um, they wanna reach these high refresh rates. If the 3080 is going to be 20% faster than a 2080 Ti, imagine what the 3080 Ti is going to put out. Um, I think it's going to be a really close fight between these two. I, I guess we'll have to wait and see. But like I said, NVIDIA's timeframe for releases is usually September or October timeframe. If you look at the release of the 20 series and the 10 series, they both lined up with that type of a, a release date. So I, we can probably expect that on this end. Time will only tell for this, but like I said, I would not buy a 20 series card right now. NVIDIA has already released information that they have stopped producing the 20 series cards. So the prices for the 20 series are going to go up and then the new cards will come out and they'll be obsolete anyways. Like I said on all of this, wait if you can for whatever parts possible. If you really want to build something right now, either company, like I said, I wouldn't buy a high-end AMD CPU right now because the new ones are going to come out and they're going to make the older ones obsolete most likely. If you have to have something with AMD, I would just get, um, like I showed you, the 3600 and you'd be fine playing with that for now until the 4000 series comes out in the fall. Uh, if you want to do Intel, You'll be fine buying anything. Um, good luck buying the 10900K if you can find it because I've been looking and I can't find it anywhere. The next step down is the 10700K. They're available on Newegg or Amazon all day. 
Well, hopefully I didn't bore you on my talking head video. I just wanted to get all this info out there before you go spending a bunch of money uh, so you can make an informed decision on what you're gonna be purchasing. If you like the music I had today, I get all my music from Epidemic Sound. If you wanna try them out, I have a link down in the description for 30 days free with them as well. Once again, I'm Danny with Danny's Tech Channel and I'll catch you in the next one.